Welcome to the MAM for Windows session. My name is Daniel Emerson, and I'm a product manager on the Intune team. I've been working on Intune's application management feature, or MAM, since we started the project back in 2013. As you will see, MAM on Windows incorporates capabilities from multiple Microsoft products, including Enter ID, Edge, Intune, and Windows Security Center. For today's session, I'll start by introducing the key components, the new functionality available for customers, and the target deployment scenarios for this initial release. Next, I'll walk through the high-level architecture before demonstrating both the admin and the end user experience. Finally, I'll wrap up with a set of resources to learn more about MAM for Windows. Let's get started with the overview and scenarios. For MAM across all platforms, our key is the app layer management. And for Microsoft, this means that the protection and management controls are scoped to the org account and data. They're independent of any device management that may be available or deployed to the device. And for Windows, we support it for the Microsoft Edge application. There's three key components that deliver the capabilities of our app layer management solution. The first one is app protection policies, or APP. This constitutes our primary data protection, setting a boundary for which you can control how data comes into and out of your org experience. Health checks that help define the criteria that must be met before your content can be accessed by your end users. And finally, on Windows, we've integrated with the Windows Security Center to give an even stronger sense of the security state or health state of the client device. The second major component of MAM are the app configuration policies. Just like APP, ACP is targeted to users and applications. It allows you to customize the experience that your end users will see within a protected application. On Windows, we've integrated a new capability, we call it our shopping cart experience, that allows you to more easily determine which settings you want and to specify those for the target policy, especially with an application like Microsoft Edge, where there may be hundreds of profile settings, it's really important to be able to quickly find and configure the settings that make sense for your environment. The final component is app protection conditional access. This extends the capabilities of Entra ID's conditional access feature to ensure that MAM is deployed and enforced on the end user's device before they can get access to protected resources, such as your Exchange Online email or your SharePoint Online document repositories. Let's look at the new capabilities now in a little bit more detail. From the persona perspective, as mentioned, we're going to look at two key persons. One is the administrator and the other is the end user. Starting with the administrator, what we're enabling with MAM for Windows is the ability to protect your organization's data on the end user's BYOD or personally owned device. From the Microsoft Edge app and including all the resources you can access from Edge, be it public facing internet sites, internal sites, SaaS apps that your organization has deployed to your end users, or more generally, any of the Microsoft 365 experiences, they can have a protected experience accessing your data. From the admin controls perspective, we've exposed these using the exact same interfaces that you're familiar with from our mobile platforms, both for app protection, app configuration, and then conditional access. And finally, as noted, you can incorporate using a connector to Microsoft Intune, the health signals that are coming from the Windows Security Center on the end user's personally owned Windows PC. From the end user perspective, the key benefit is being able to easily access org resources from their home or a personal device. The onboarding experience is very straightforward, very similar to what we offer on the mobile platforms, where the user can sign into an app such as Microsoft Edge with their organization's account and then have very quick and easy access to that data through any of the resources you can access in a browser. If there are changes that are necessary to meet your company's health criteria, the end user will be presented with very clear and easy to follow instructions on what they need to do and if any remediation steps need to be followed before they can get access. 
And similar to what we offer on mobile, we continue to have a promise to the end user that the management controls offered with MAM will not impact their personal data or usage on their own device. For the initial release of Windows MAM, we've considered three main deployment scenarios. And these scenarios were designed with a personally owned device in mind and to enable that quick and easy access to resources. The first one is the work at home scenario. And so consider the case where the end user is accessing their information in an evening or on the weekends, and they just need to access their Outlook web access email, or they need to make a quick document edit on a SharePoint site. So all of that can be accomplished through Windows MAM via Microsoft Edge as the browser. The second primary scenario that we've looked at is around emergency access to those same org resources. Consider that you have a high profile employee that's traveling, maybe their device has been broken, maybe they've lost it, uh, maybe it's even been stolen uh, going through security at the airport. This allows that individual to get access to you know, a family member's device or go to retail store and purchase a new Windows device and quickly get up and running on a temporary basis while they wait for a new corporate configured device to arrive. And finally, we've looked at scenarios around improving the security baseline for customers. Consider a scenario where your deployment has many non-employees that are accessing your corporate data. This may be common in an education scenario where you have students or visiting faculty that aren't part of your organization, but are accessing those important resources like email or SharePoint. What we've heard from customers today is that many of those endpoints are completely unprotected because there is no good way to ensure the data access protection without having to fully manage the device. Man for Windows will change that story and allow you to easily protect your data within the browser from the threats that we've talked about earlier in the conversation. Now that we've covered the main scenarios that we're trying to deliver with Windows MAM, let's talk a little bit about the high-level architecture that delivers these capabilities. If you've looked at our mobile deployment model, you'll notice a lot of similarities with what we're offering on Windows, and this is by design. As we look through the different data flow, what we recommend customers do is start with the conditional access policy via Enter ID. Make sure that you're protecting those service resources by setting a control that requires the Windows app protection before you can get access to the resource. From the Intune perspective, again, you'll use app protection policies and app configuration policies to tailor the deployment for your organization's requirements. Through our Intune service, that information will be sent down to a client component that's running within the Microsoft Edge application. And finally, from a configuration perspective, if you choose to use the Windows Security Center health checks, you'll set up a connector that connects the signal that goes through a Defender Cloud service to the Microsoft Intune service. When your end user attempts to access org data through Microsoft Edge, for example, going to office.com, all of these components will come together to ensure that your data is protected. As you can see here, starting with conditional access will ensure that MAM is in place before they can access that resource. If it's not in place, it'll walk the user through the setup process to enforce MAM. If the health state at any time is deemed unhealthy through the MAM client and Microsoft Edge, it will also prompt the end user through the steps that they need to take to remediate. If there is a highly sensitive issue that has come up, you may also choose to remove your data from the application, in this case, Microsoft Edge. In that situation, this org data will be automatically removed and the user will be told why and what they need to do to reaccess their org resources. Okay, let's see how all these components come together in practice with an admin configuration and an end user experience demonstration. To configure MAM for Windows, we recommend administrators follow three steps. Protect access to service resources with conditional access, secure org data on the client using app protection policies, and customize the end user experience in the protected applications with app configuration policies. Let's walk through these steps in more detail. 
Starting from the Microsoft Intune Admin Console, you will need to first navigate to the Conditional Access Controls and create a new policy. For this demo, I will create a policy that only enables the Windows MAM scenario. You may have different requirements for one or more CA policies in your environment. Within the policy, you will need to name the policy, target the policy to the appropriate users and groups. This may be the same set you target app protection policies to or a larger set of users. Target the policy to the resources you want to protect with MAM. Here I will target to Office 365. Set the conditions for the policy. For Windows MAM, you will need to include the Windows device platform and set the client apps to browser. Finally, ensure MAM is enforced by configuring the grant control to require app protection policies. When you're done, you can enable the policy and create to save and deploy the policy. The next step is to ensure your org data is protected within the MAM applications. One of the health checks available for app protection on Windows is the Windows Security Center status. To use this check, you must first configure a connector. From the Microsoft Intune Admin Console, you can set up the connector by going to Tenant Administration, Connectors and Tokens, then Mobile Threat Defense. Here you can see I've already configured the connector. If it hasn't been configured, you can do so by choosing Add and then selecting Windows Security Center. App protection policies both enable data protection and client health checks. For unmanaged devices, you cannot enforce a device-specific state. Instead, we use health checks to allow you to specify the criteria that must be met before your data can be accessed and to allow you to specify the automated action, warn, block, or wipe, that occurs if the health check fails. From the Microsoft Intune Admin Console, you can create an app protection policy for Windows from the Apps Blade. Within the policy, you will need to name the policy, target it to Microsoft Edge, then configure the data protection settings. For Windows, we support a simplified data container where org data sharing is allowed or blocked from the protected application. For the demo, I will block all incoming and outgoing sharing, clipboard usage, and printing. Next are the health checks. We support both app condition checks, such as how long the app can go offline without a policy check-in, and device checks, such as OS version. For the demo, I will configure the max allowed device threat level, which is triggered by client health data from Windows Security Center. If the check fails to report the device is secure, it will block access. To target the policy, you will need to target user groups. For the demo, I chose the same group targeted with the conditional access policy. And finally, clicking Create will allow you to save and deploy the policy to your users. To complete the admin configuration for Windows MAM, you can optionally customize the end user experience in protected applications with app configuration policies. From the Microsoft Intune Admin Console, you can create an app configuration policy for managed applications from the Apps Blade. Within the policy, you will need to name the policy, target it to Microsoft Edge for Windows, then choose the settings you want to configure. For Windows MAM, we have integrated the settings catalog experience, which allows you to easily find just the settings you need for your environment. For the demo, I'll configure the home page URL and a few settings for the new tab page. To target the policy, you will again need to target to user groups. For the demo, I chose the same group targeted with the conditional access policy. And finally, you'll need to click Create to save and deploy the policy to your users. Windows MAM 
End user onboarding starts with the user attempting to open a conditional access secured site or resource from an unprotected application. For this demo, I am on my home PC and will launch Edge with a personal user profile. I'll go to office.com and then attempt to switch to my organization's account to access a Word document. Because I am not in a managed user profile, I am informed by conditional access, I need to switch to a new profile on Edge to access the site. Following the prompt, I am guided through adding an Edge profile for my org account. This includes registering the device with Entra ID to enable conditional access. Next, it will set up the MAM policies and communicate to conditional access that the application is protected and healthy in order to allow me to reach office.com. When setup is complete, I am informed that the new profile is managed. Because this is a personal device, we have built in clear visual indicators to inform users when their browsing is managed. For this demo, my administrator has controlled data sharing for org data via MAM's app protection policies. When I attempt to copy data from a Word doc on my org's OneDrive, I am blocked to reduce data leaks. In addition, as configured by my organization's policy, I am not able to save my data to my personal device. I'm also not allowed to print protected information. Because this is a personal device, it may be at higher risk of malware or malicious activity. In this case, a family member installed a new program that disabled system antivirus registered with Windows Security Center. When I attempt to access org content, I am blocked because my device is not meeting the health criteria set by my organization. Here I am informed what I need to do to remediate and regain access to my account. For high risk health checks, administrators could also choose to automatically remove the org account and data from the compromised device. Now that you've seen Windows MAM in practice, I wanted to share some additional resources that you can use to learn how to deploy this in your own environment. We have a number of documentation links available here that show you how to use these features across Intune, Edge, and Enter ID. I would recommend starting with the Windows MAM overview. That will take you through the key steps that we've talked about today, as well as link to the detailed documentation that you've seen here. If you have any questions, please make sure that you look through the documentation first or reach out to your support team to learn more about the Windows MAM scenario. Now that we've walked through the full end-to-end -end experience for Windows MAM, we hope you enjoyed it and that you're able to deploy the MAM for Windows capabilities in your environment.